kitchen's coming along nicely. Slowly but surely. Our workmen are working through the night to deck out our wonderful kitchen. Oh, and of course we've got food deliveries to take now as well. Yeah, look at all the food arriving. Oh, we're backed up on trucks. Truck in. Truck out. Truck out. Truck out. Truck out. And then we'll have three trucks in. Deliveries just get plonked here, then they'll get moved inside. Great thing is, once this kitchen is done, it's like there is no nothing holding me back from just decking out all these cells. It's just the money that I'm going to have to be taking in. Although I'm at 2,000 daily cash flow now, which is going to be nice. Oh, oh, people having a fight in the holding cells. Naughty. All of the variable cells are too high quality for this prisoner. Right, so if you start getting this... I don't understand why this is actually a thing. Apparently people want to be in bad cells because they don't they feel like they don't deserve good cells. Um, so jeez, look at this fight. Two people down in look at all the blood. So much blood. Okay. So there is actually an option to override it, which is in here. Use cell quality ratings. If enabled, prisoners will only be assigned to a cell of quality they deserve based on their behavior. Poorly behaved prisoners will never be assigned to high quality cell even if there are no cells available. If disabled prisoners will be assigned only to a cell regardless of quality, but prisoner in cells of lower quality then average will be more resentful. Prisoners will still have to be upgraded to high quality cells if they behave well. Okay, turn it off. So now all these people in the holding cell will actually be assigned cells in the prison. So these ones up here that are actually empty. Um, they are on the highest quality cell. I mean, if I turn this on, you'll be able to see room quality. I mean, it's average. Everything in the prison is pretty much average only. Except for these ones, which are now above average. Because they kept fighting down in these dorms. Um, once I start decking them out with TVs, radios and chairs, don't get me wrong, they're going to be better. But there's no real quality to them at the moment. I'm literally meeting the basic requirements for the prisoners. Um... So yeah, come on guys, let's pump up the speed a little bit more. Let's move the clock. Didn't even know I could do that. Um, so these guys are start. Oh, we have a max security guy. Wow. Banslaughter, 18 years, pled not guilty. Perjury, 5 years, pled not guilty. He did plead guilty to assault, and he pled guilty to criminal damages. Oh, he's also qualified to be in the kitchen. Nice. Oh, Reoffending chances 2% as well. That's pretty good. I have high hopes for that individual. Right, so we can take four more prisoners, so we're going to get another 1,800 quid tomorrow, which is fine, looking at our cash balance. Um, I'm not rushing, because at the moment I've got enough cookers and fridges to do me. Uh, I could open up half the canteen at the moment, and half the kitchen. Um, once my workforce actually fully builds this out, I might actually open up the uh, canteen space. I'm going to need to hire up a few more cooks, but for the time being, and while the kitchen is being built, there's no point in wasting money on their wages when it's not going to get used. So we might as well just wait for now. Kitchen's slowly going. Oh, I was right in here. In the ratio of fridges to ovens, that's worth knowing. So there's my 1800 for a prisoner intake, and my daily cash flow is now up to 2800. Nice. Oh, we've had our first death. Oh dear. Oh dear. Down in. Oh, down while having prayers. Have we even got someone deployed down here? No, we don't. Oh, that's naughty of me. Ah, oh, we figured out a route, but we didn't put anyone down here. Oh dear. And we just got rid of our morgue, so we've got nowhere to put a body. That's not good. We need to get some prisoners. We need to get some guards down here. I think they're on their way down there anyway. They've stopped fighting. Ah, that's why. So one thing we have to keep an eye out for is really on the intelligence screen. We haven't really looked too much into it. But 
if we have a look at our informant screen, 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 bleh, screen. <coughs> we are given information on our prisoners. Now this varies from prisoner to prisoner. So, for example, the guy that has just died has died probably because he was a snitch. He was also an ex-prison guard and an expert fighter. So because he was an ex-prison guard and a snitch, it made him more likely to be attacked. Now there's another guy up here who's also a snitch and is an ex-law enforcement, which also means that he's more likely to get attacked by other prisoners. So really, when you see these guys come into a prison, you want to try and put isolate them away. So what I might actually do is this prison block up here, which doesn't have a huge amount of people in it, or won't have a huge amount of people in it, I might just make a block dedicated to those that are at-risk prisoners. So to try to avoid deaths from occurring, because with deaths, unfortunately, it means I'm going to take... It hasn't actually appeared in here yet. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a financial hit uh, for the fact that somebody's died and we have to deal with the, the remains of the body. We have to make it sure we pay for it to get buried um, and make the suitable inquiries as to the cause of death. So we have to be a little bit careful with that. At the moment, we've got three prisoners, four prisoners down here that we're having to deal with. Um... But we're also going to have to need to figure out what we're going to do. As it's only one body, I do wonder if we'll just call the, the, the medical examiner and deal with it that way. Uh, killed, Yeah, killed for being a snitch. There you go. So we just have to keep an eye on some people. Our workmen are still plodding along. How are our utilities looking? They're getting there. Let's get these sinks plumbed in. Workmen are hard at work putting the ovens in, the uh, cookers. Uh, let's get some paving stones along here as well, so they move a little bit quicker between the rooms. Oh, yeah, there we go. So the hearse has arrived as it is only one body. We don't have to worry too much about storing it. Uh, this is also how you get confidential informants. So eventually when a, there you go, potential CI, when someone has been put into solitary as a way of kind of dealing with their um, misbehavior, you can recruit them as a confidential informant. So I'm going to recruit this guy here as a confidential informant. He attacked a prisoner, murdered, so maybe it's not such a great idea, Serious injury and found drugs. Uh, I'm going to recruit him. And what he'll do is he'll actually inform me. A few of these guys are still question marks. He'll inform me about some of these prisoners. At the moment, he's only got a 5% coverage of the prison. Uh, over time, it will go up. Which is good. But he'll also inform me about where I'll find such things as all the illegals. Things like scissors... Look at this. This is what why it's so good to have a reception. When people are searched on their way in, they're finding like phones, scissors, drugs, all sorts. Look at it all. It's crazy. And the medicine has gone everywhere. Hidden, traded, 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 found, hidden, traded. Wow. There's a lot of supply of luxuries at the moment and a lot of supply of narcotics. Now we need to do a crackdown on drugs. And you know what? While I work as a building, I think now's a good time. Let's organize our first shakedown. Shakedown is underway. So, as you can see, everything that is searchable in the prison becomes searchable. So, it's going to cause an increase in danger because people are going to get searched unnecessarily now. But, our guards are going to go around every single object in our prison and have a search. There we go. See, we're already finding cigarettes down here. Cigarettes over here. Not everything can be found with metal detectors. Dogs will find some things as well once we bring them in. Something, things that smell. Oh, we've got narcotics up here. We need to, we need to find our illegal narcotics anyway. We found more narcotics up here. Cell phones. We've got a saw. We found. This is a really naughty dormitory. Look at this guy. Five. Look at the five phones. He had five phones. And a lighter. 
Wow. The dormitories are the place to go for, for naughty, naughty things, it seems. I can't believe one guy had that many phones. That's crazy. What are you going to do? There's another guy up here with phones and cigarettes. Well, we're slowly going through. I love how we have to search the dead body as well. Wow. Slowly working our way through. Well, we've met our requirement for drugs, so we've received a nice $15,000 for grant completion. Let's open this door. So people can get in and out. I'm actually going to open this up to two doors wide as they keep getting stuck here. They can go through up there. He can come through here. Still searching. Stuff's getting found all over the place. Look at it. 24 phones we've found. That's crazy. So most of the cells have now been searched. Only a few of them left. It's just all the odd places now. Oh, we found a drill. Oh, we found cleaning products up here. Wow, how many are being punished? 24 prisoners have been searched unnecessarily. Eight prisoners are well treated. Five of us complaints. One of these shows how many are waiting to go into solitary confinement. 45 prisoners. Hmm. Well, the solitary confinement is getting filled anyway. Have we got any more potential CIs? No, we've got our one one dude in here. Slowly going, come on. We will end it when it comes to lock up for this evening. So what time are they locked up? Uh, they go to sleep at 11 p.m. So if they haven't finished by 11 p.m., I'm going to end the search early. Let's make sure um, the... High security guys are the ones that are most likely to cause an incident. So we try and avoid make sure they're in the yard or they eat at different times or they're not in the same areas as everyone else at the same time. So let's change this up a little bit. Um, we'll, hang on, we'll look at that after the shakedown's finished. So come on, finish off the guards are still going along. Almost done, 367. Less than 100 left. Come on, guys. Look at the storage room down here. It's the individual prisoners that need searching now, mainly. Still got two more prisoners coming tomorrow. We need another 800 bucks. Kitchen's coming along nicely. Still got a few more fridges to go. That wall and the pipes are still going. Uh, we should probably put in a pair of doors here and a pair of doors here um, I'm actually going to put metal detectors along here as well just in case anyone leaves the uh, kitchen or the canteen with a weapon 
At the moment, yes, they can take it from the kitchen into the canteen area, but that's a risk I'm going to take. I could technically put them here if I wanted to, but I think the best bet is most people are going to try and take them back to their cells. Um, so if I just do them in the entrances and exits from here, so I'll put another two here probably, another two here probably, and another two up here when it comes to it. Um, metal detectors, they are expensive, that's the only thing, they're a thousand to go. So one, two here. Make sure they've got an electricity supply going to them. Oh, luckily, luckily they are on an electricity supply, so that's going to be fine. Shakedown's almost done. It's only four o'clock, so we're definitely going to have this done by the time the night is done. Um, let's get a couple more. I'm going to put one more guard in here. So we start searching at least this room. Bish bash bosh. Oh, look at that power station. I think we're going to struggle, actually, with finishing this off. So it might have to be a split-powered room. We'll see how we do. We're going to push it right to the limit, I think. In fact, I'd be so bold as to say that this is probably going to be the limit here. And I think I'm going to have to break the circuit. So, in fact, I'm going to do that now. Demolish utility... Uh, let's disconnect it from here and disconnect it from here. That's going to be on a new circuit and disconnect this one here. I'm going to be struggling for power otherwise. So I'm guard slowly going through storage. I don't think he's going to find anything in the wood, but you never know. Five o'clock. Yeah, we're still going. Still got a few prisoners that need searching. Have we got any other grants that we can have a look at now as well? Oh, tool cleanup. Check out for stolen tools and stolen weapons. Um, how much is the long... Let's do that one as well. We've got 5,000 now, so we'll make the most of it. So our canteen is almost done. We've got a few more serving tables and a few more benches left to go. Ah, did I? I haven't put. I need to put some more serving tables in here. Serving tables. Where are you? One and two. Our work kind of still plodding along nicely. Hard at work or hardly working, if you know what I mean. We still haven't taken this guy out of here. Why hasn't he been taken to the the to the hearse yet? I don't know who technically takes him to the hearse as well. I'm guessing maybe the dogs are. Come on. It's just struggling to get these last few bits. 25 to go. Oh, not more than 25. 30 to go. Let's get these finished. He's slowly going through storage. We've got a few guys down here that need... Why aren't... Like, crack on with these guys. Be searching them. Why aren't they being searched? Naughty. Well, like I say, I'm gonna leave it till. Let's have a look. Is it ten? Yeah, eat. Yeah, I'll leave it till ten, and then I'll call it. Look at the solitary being filled. Our one CI. Oh, he's now up to 6% coverage. 
Pushing for that extra 1%. He is the 1%. I could totally put a wall here as well. I could totally put it up to here and make this long as well. Oh, could I? Ooh, I could do that actually. In fact, I'm going to do that. Um, but it's also going to destroy the walls all along here. So, I'll make sure I do it the next morning. Because otherwise, they're not going to have any cells to sleep in. They're all going to end up in the holding cell and they're all going to riot. So I need to make sure that doesn't happen. It'll give me a bigger laundry. Um... And it'll give me a bigger shop as well, which is going to be nice. 165 hours for the long-term investment. That is crazy. It's going to take a while. We're still building our kitchen. Come on. I've got a fair route to go all the way through here. They need to come all the way from out here, all the way along here, all the way along here, and all the way up to here. Um... Eventually, when I open it up, I'll probably open another entrance into here. So at least they don't have to take, uh, like, a bit of a route. They can just go straight and do it like an L shape. Uh, I might actually revise this fence, make it so it is two all the way up here, and then open up this area for deliveries as well. Look at this backlog of trucks. Come on, open. Come on, trucks. And I'll open up this gate as well. So people can come out. I love how the hearse is led with the dead body still here. Delivery guy has dropped off some store... Shop goods. Alright, okay. Oh, look at the backlog of trucks. Come on. So we'll let them all come down to the bottom gate. Then we'll let them out. Come on in. So there's only one more truck. We'll let him unload and then we'll let them all out. So come on. Delivery driver dropping off some food and some stacks of plates. One. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. It was just having a moment. He has a pause. All oh, right, is he just checking to make sure he has to move up his truck? Oh, the kind of hearse has arrived. And he's going to pause again. At least most of the trucks has got out now. What I might do is either make this bit down here some forestry, or I need to consider making a mail room maybe as well. Oh, I found the tools at least, because I've gone up to 36,000. Wow. Our utilities broken off. They've broken off part of it. They've still got a little bit to go. We're going to be pushing the limit. In fact, I'd say that we're not even going to be able to get these in. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be close. Are we on one last cell? We've got one last cell to go. It's now 10 o'clock and we're one place short. Where is the one place that we're short of searching? If we can use a little bit of intelligence to look at where the one place is. There we go, we're done. Just gone 10 o'clock, that wasn't too bad then.